Hello and welcome to the next tutorial on Unix shell scripting. In this video, we will see more about for loop. Okay. So we will uh, just get started with simple program. So let me create one file slash bin bash then for and write some variable here. Okay. So for then variable and some list of uh, values here so i'm just using a b c d e f whatever uh, we can use the court also d e f h i j and semicolon do so here we are expecting list of values okay so, or any variable that contain list of values or any command that return list of values and then semicolon and do then we have our statement so I can just use echo so value in var is dollar var then so ending with the done so this is how simple for loop looks like the for and do and then in between do and then we have our statements and we have got one variable and that variable take values from this list so how this work okay so first iteration so this variable var will take this value and execute the contents inside or between do and done and next iteration it take the next value and assign that to this variable and do this and next iteration it take this value and assign to this variable and execute so let's save this and execute and see how this work so let me give the execute permission for right uh, sorry i missed one uh, syntax error i n okay so this is a pro proper syntax for variable in the list of value do and done right then execute it okay so you can see the statement is getting executed three times so first iteration this variable okay so here i am just printing the value in this variable dollar var so the first iteration so this will be having this so if you want to know uh, how this iteration work okay just add one sleep and execute then you can see that flow the first second and third okay so for then variable so it can be any any variable name a b c or i or any name so here i use var then in list of value do and then in between do and done we have our statement okay so let me uh, write uh, one file so just fruits dot txt let me write the values apple mango orange pineapple and save it and writing okay so this is the file which i created and if you see the content it looks like this apple mango orange and pineapple so i'm creating another file for to hash for i so this is the variable here i'm using is i in so and next i need a list of values so I can use a backtick cat host or or the name okay so this cat command basically return a list and uh, that means the content of this file and I use the backtick or backout okay because this is a unix command if you are not using this backtick then it will take this as a string and this is another string and uh, do then echo i is dollar i then done 
save this okay and add execute permission then execute that file so this how this work okay so if you just see the cat fruits so the cat command basically written the contents inside this file okay and how this for loop work so first the variable is i and the i will take the value from this list so here i use the backward so backward is just a command or any anything if you write in between the backward will execute like unix commands then cat fruits dot text so the content inside these files are replaced here so it take the values from that list and print those values one by one so i and take the value first one second one third one and so on so so and then it print those values here okay so another command is like ls okay so you need the list of all files and to print that file name one by one so i just use for 3.sh bin bash then for i in then backward ls then do so echo dollar i echo dollar i means the value stored in this variable and within the backward ls means so the unix command ls so that will get executed and uh, so it will take the values from that list right so 414243 so these are the files so basically what ls command return so that is that will create a list here okay and what if you don't use this backward just save that then you can see ls because the list itself just a variable or just a string ls so i use a backward for that so basically the syntax is for one variable then i n then list of variable and do and then between do and then we have our statement So we have another type of for also we will see that bin bash then for i equal to zero then i is less than or equal to five i plus plus then we have do so do and then if you you can use the do here or else just add the semicolon and do then echo value of i is dollar i then done then ch mod plus x for for dot sh right so you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 is getting executed so this looks uh, similar to our uh, c language for loop so just uh, values inside that and uh, two parentheses we used so this how this works so initially the variable i is assigned to 0 right and uh, then it execute the block that time so it will print the value is 0 the next iteration just before next iteration so that will increment the value of i by one i plus plus means increase the value of i by one so that that means then the next iteration the value of i become one and similarly it go on like that and each time it check this condition so if the value of i is less than or equal to five so whenever the value of i is changed to six then that time so it come out of this loop okay so that is what happening here so 0 to 5 it's executing so that's it about for loop 
So hope you like the content. Please do subscribe to get more updates. I will be uploading lot more contents over time. See you in the next video. Bye.